person, so we'll put in PA for personal administration 40 is the code. We select hire. We want to put in where their location is. In my case, it'll be Thirty-eight oh one in Carl's Rue. So this is the section is called the personnel area, and we're going to assign them an employee group. So they'll be active employee and a subgroup. Is that I'm going to pay them the salaried staff. We execute the function. We manually assign an employee number, 800137. We have a start date of 01-01-2011. We're going to start them as of this year. We're going to make them generic. We'll call it Mr. Smith. Last name Smith, John. And we're going to give him a birth date of March of 2000, March 3rd, 1957. It's a male, social security number. And he is assigned to the personnel area of Karlsruhe already. And we check the data automatically assigns the employee group and the subgroup save and then you're prompted to continue filling out data regarding this individual and walk through the tasks so if there's a birth name second name these are all the fields that you can fill out the language marital status you can say he's married since let's see February of 2001, so you would just go in and say, let's see, on the first day of February, so 1.02.2001, in the German format of date keeping, he's married, no children, his nationality is German. You have all these nationalities pre-populated in the fields. Sure. And then you can check your record. And it says that's the Social Security number, so it provides some safety mechanisms if you don't have data in there correctly. So we'll change his social to be 357. see if that'll accept that. It does, you save it, it progresses you to the next window, which will ask for spouse, and so we'll get the spouse of Marge, female, birth date is, eh, make it to February also, 1.02, so that's 19, 63. She's younger. Social security number. And you can fill out the rest of these fields as well. These fields are all what they call infotypes with their sub sections being these fields. Check the entry, save it. It'll ask you to verify who you are as a user. progress you to the next window. So <clears throat> you have enterprise structure, which is your company. Oops, it asks me for verification again. I am authorized. So now we're looking at the info types that we have here. We have uh, enterprise structure, which is your company. 
and you've got a company code 1000, which is the company, uh, the enterprise assigned to, the personnel area where they reside, and then you have the personnel structure that they're an active salaried employee, and we've got a uh, subgroup assigned, and then you can go into the organizational plan, provide them a job assignment um, here, which will take you then to the corporation, and you can work your way down. In my case, we're in this group here, which is the ADETS. We are my personal enterprise here, and I can pick an area, and I want them to be marketing in Chicago. It'll assign data from fields that you've created for where they can work in the departments and their job tasks and job assignments, and you can easily select them through the organizational plan. Check it. As a sub area, it'll prompt you if you've left something off. We're going to call them part of the sales department, check it one more time, and save it, and it moves you to the next task. So that's kind of an overview of how to create an employee and assign them to a department and give them a position. So what you've seen me do today here, I learned all of this at the i for it Solutions Institute in Walt Creek. And i um, looking forward to taking the skills I've learned and applying them in the job market. I am currently looking for employment and excited about getting into this field uh, utilizing SAP and the HR function.